In this lesson, we are going to be speaking about trig ratios, specifically sin, cos, tan. We're not going to speak about cot, cosec, and sec, but we will do that in the next lesson. So, sin, let's write it down, sin, cos, and tan. That is what we will be dealing with. So the first thing we need to know is something called Sokotoa. Now, I know you might be looking at that if this is your first time and you're literally like, what is going on? Trust me, this is a nice little, uh, like little phrase or riddle that's going to help you to remember what sin actually means, what cos actually means, and what tan actually means. So what it means um, is that sin is equal to, now the O stands for opposite, so you're just going to write these down for now, okay? H stands for hypotenuse. You might not even know what that means, but I'm going to explain it soon. Cos is equal to adjacent. So that's what the A stands for. See how it says um, sin is opposite hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent hypotenuse, okay? Actually, let's use capital letters and then everything can stand out a bit better. There we go. And then tan is going to be opposite over adjacent. So right now, this might not make sense, but that's okay. I'm still going to teach everything, but I just want you to have that written down on a piece of paper for now. Okay, so you see how I got that. So sin, you can see there's the S for sin, there's the O, there's the H, like that, S-O-H. Then for cos, it's the C-A-H, C-A-H. And then for tan, there's a T O H. I mean A. So T O A. That's where I'm getting those from, okay? Now let's practice what adjacent hypotenuse opposite actually means. So let's say we have a triangle. By the way, we're only going to use right angled triangles. That is very important. Okay? There will be future, future, future lessons where we will look at triangles that don't have 90 degrees, but that's where we're going to use different laws. But for, for these laws where we use soccer toa, that only works with 90 degree triangles. What's a 90 degree? Or well, that's, you might call it a right angle. Okay, so what I want you to do, first thing, look at the right angle and then look at the side opposite that. Okay? The side that is opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. You thought I was going to say the opposite, didn't you? So that's the first little thing I would want you to remember, is that the side opposite whoa, the 90 degree, or the right angle, uh, 90 degree, you might call it the right angle, is called the hypotenuse. Okay, um, that's that's important. Now, the next thing, let's give some letters here. For example, A, B, and C. Let's say we're looking at angle A. So let's start with angle A. Okay, so that means I want you to imagine that you are standing here in that corner. That's the angle, right? So remember, the angle is the corner. So that's where you are standing. Then I want you to realize that this side over here, which is AC, that is the hypotenuse. So AC is the hypotenuse. Now if you look across to BC, that would be opposite that angle. So BC would be called the opposite. So BC, the, the side BC. Let's do this. That is the opposite. Now the other side, the other one, is called the adjacent. So that would be this one, which is AB. So AB is your adjacent. Okay, so let's fill that in. Adjacent and opposite. Okay, now, if we had to go and stand at angle C, then it would be totally different. So let's go do that now, okay? So I hope you've taken some notes down for that. Now let's go stand at, um, let's go stand at angle C. So now we're here, okay? 
so this side over here is still going to be called the hypotenuse because remember the hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degree that is not changed okay so that let's fill that in hypotenuse that doesn't change now if you look opposite that angle then you would see side ab so because ab is opposite we'll call that the opposite now the other side Okay, well, let's actually just fill that in here, sorry. AB is the opposite. Now, the other side, BC, is going to be the adjacent. The one that's left over, that's the adjacent. So that would be this one over here. So depending on which angle you are looking from, either A or C, the opposite and the adjacent are going to be two different things. Now, we are never, ever, ever, listen carefully, we are never, ever, 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 ever going to worry about this 90 degree angle. We're not going to, we're not going to worry about which one is the opposite, which one is the adjacent, which one is the hypotenuse when you're looking from here. You are only ever going to look from this angle or this angle, but you are not going to look from the right angle. Okay, so now... If you've got that and you're feeling sort of comfortable about what does adjacent mean, what does opposite mean, what does hypotenuse mean, then we can go start doing some examples now. So here is our first example. So what I want you to write down is Sokotoa. They're asking us for cos. Okay, so we're going to use that. So we're going to use CAH. And they're asking us to stand. Remember, they could ask us to stand at A or they could ask us to stand at B. They're asking us to stand where this angle is, so we're standing over here, okay? That's important. So, that's where we are. So what I would say first is let's go quickly label hypotenuse, adjacent, opposite. So remember, the side that is opposite the 90, or opposite the, uh, the, the, the right angle, that is the hypotenuse. The side that is opposite the angle you are looking at is called the opposite. The other one is called the adjacent. Okay, so we have the adjacent, we have the opposite, we have the hypotenuse. Now, cos is equal, so you see how I said cos and then the angle that I'm looking from, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be the adjacent, which is 16, over the hypotenuse, which is 20. Type that on your calculator, and it should simplify to 4 over 5. So that is the answer. Cos theta is equal to 4 over 5. Here's the next one. So while we're still learning, let's keep writing this down. Sokotoa. Now they want cos again. So we're going to go cos, sorry, we're just going to write the C-A-H part. Let's quickly go get all our labels. So they want us to start at that angle there. So let's highlight that. And let's go find what we need. So the opposite the 90, that's called the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle that you are looking at, that is called the opposite. And then the other side is called the adjacent. So what we say is cos theta is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse from there. And so adjacent is 3, hypotenuse is 5, and there's the answer. So we say cos theta is 3 over 5. Here's sin. So let's go first write down our little riddle, Sokotoa. Here's the sin one, so we just put that there, S-O-H. So we need to go get all our sides. So we're starting at this angle. Because remember, it would be very different if you were starting there. It makes a big difference. So you need to go where they are asking you to go, and that's the theta angle. So opposite the right angle, that's called the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle that you're looking at, that's called the opposite. The other one is called the adjacent. So what we say now is that sin theta is equal to opposite, because I'm looking at this now, opposite 
over hypotenuse. And so that's going to be 9 over 15. Go ahead. Uh, you can simplify that a little bit further to 3 over 5. So that's the answer. This one is asking us for tan. So let's go write Sokotoa. Now we want tan, so we just want that part. Let's go label our triangle. So you find the angle. They want theta, good. Now the side opposite the 90, that's called the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle that you're looking at, that's called the opposite. And the side, the other side, is the adjacent. So we can say that tan theta is equal to opposite, which is 12. Well, let's first say opposite over adjacent. And so opposite is 12. Adjacent is 9. Simplify that or type it on your calculator and you should end up with 4 over 3. So in this question, they want us to find sin theta and then sin beta. So let's start with, okay, well, first of all, we need to know what sin is. So let's go write Sokotoa. So sin is this one over here. So let's go write that down. Okay, so let's start with this question. So don't look at that one at all. So they're saying what's important is that you look at which angle. So they're saying theta. So we go to that angle there. That's important, okay? Now, we need to label adjacent, opposite, hypotenuse. So we know that the side opposite the 90 degree, or the right angle, that's always the hypotenuse. Whether you are looking at that angle or that angle. Now, the side opposite the angle you are looking at, that's called the opposite. And the other one, is the adjacent. Okay, so now we can say that sin theta, please tell them what angle you're talking about. Don't just do this. A lot of students just do that. Teachers don't like that at all. They will mark you wrong. You must say sin theta because you're looking at the theta angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And so that's equal to opposite, which is... Ah, now this one's interesting. We don't know what this is. But what we do, because it's a right-angled triangle, you can use Pythagoras. So you could say that that side is going to be equal to 15 squared minus 9 squared. You can do it in other ways, but remember this is the longer side. And that's going to be 144. And then if you square root that, that's equal to... 12. So this length would be 12. And so that would be the opposite, like we said. Okay, so opposite is then 12. Hypotenuse is 15. If you go type this on the calculator, or if you simplify it yourself, this could still simplify to 4 over 5. Okay, now we need to go do, so we've got number 1's answer, that is 4 over 5. Now we need to do number two's answer. So now the question actually starts over, all over again, okay? Of course the 12 is still correct. The 15 is still, I mean the hypotenuse is still correct because it's always the one opposite the 90. So this is now for number two. So now we're looking at this angle. So you go highlight that angle. So now the opposite is the one that's opposite that angle. So now this is the opposite. That's still the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. So that means that this one is now the adjacent. So can you see that these two have now switched? They switched places. So now we can say that sin beta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So now that's going to be its opposite, which is 9. And the hypotenuse is 15. Go ahead, type down the calculator or simplify it yourself and you would get... 3 over 5. Here's our next example. So let's carry on writing Sokotoa. Now, the first question says cos theta. So we go highlight theta. Now, the side opposite the 90 is the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle 
that you are looking at is called the opposite. The other side is the adjacent. Okay, so we're doing number one. So cos theta is equal to, uh, remember we're looking at cos, so that's adjacent hypotenuse, so adjacent over hypotenuse, which is going to be equal to adjacent, which is 15, hypotenuse is 17. There we go. For number two, we're now looking at cos beta. So we look. We have to restart with the adjacent and the opposite. The hypotenuse is still going to be the same. So we're now looking at this angle. The side that is opposite that angle is called the opposite. And then the side that is next to that, uh, sorry, the leftover one, we can call that the adjacent. Okay, so we know that cos is always adjacent over hypotenuse. And so the adjacent is 8 and the hypotenuse is 17. There we go. Next example, let's go Sokotoa. So we're looking for tan theta. So what's important is that we look at the angle, which is theta. So we go there. The side that's opposite that one is called the opposite. The side opposite the 90 is called the hypotenuse. The other one is called the adjacent. Now we're looking at tan. So we could say tan. Now don't just say tan. Say tan of theta. You have to let the teacher know which angle you're talking about. So tan theta is equal to um, opposite from this, right? Opposite over adjacent. And so that's going to be 16 over 12. That could still simplify to 4 over 3. So tan theta is equal to 4 over 3. Now let's do number 2. So tan beta. So now we start all over again. We take away the adjacent and we take away the opposite. So now we're doing beta, you see? The side opposite that is called the opposite. The side, and then that's the hypotenuse because it's still opposite the 90. And then this is the adjacent. So we can say that tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. And so that would be 12 over 16. Simplify, that's going to be 3 over 4. Here's our last example. So for this first one, or well, let's first write down our riddle, sock, uh, toa. Hope you guys are getting that by now. I'm sure you are. We've practiced quite a few. So there's sock, toa. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to, for the first question, it's a theta angle. So we go to theta. And the side opposite that is always called the opposite. The side opposite the 90 is called the hypotenuse. The other one is the adjacent. So if we want sin, we know that that is opposite over hypotenuse. And so that's going to be 3 over 5. Okay, so now we can take all of that away. Whoops, that's still okay. So the hypotenuse is still the same. So now we're not looking at theta, now we're looking at beta. So let's go there. So opposite of that is called opposite. And the other one is adjacent. So we can now say sin beta is opposite over hypotenuse. I'm just writing the words a little bit shorter. And so opposite is going to be 4. Hypotenuse is going to be 5.